Hey you guys, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Show your girl some love. Um, I would definitely appreciate that. So I'm going to be sharing some of my unpopular opinions about sex. And truthfully, I don't really know how unpopular these unpopular opinions are. So just let me know if you think I'm totally crazy or not. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be looking at my phone. Okay, so first things first, I'm wearing my hump day shirt. So it's Wednesday, woo woo, we made it through half of the week. So I know you guys are excited and I figured what better day to do this video on. So let's jump into number one. I feel like people need to really get over themselves when it comes to asking the question of like, when's the last time you got checked? I don't think that there's anything wrong or anything bad about asking that question. I think if someone is concerned about that, they are definitely um, mature and they care about your well-being as well as theirs. Also, I feel like if you do have a problem with it, you should not be having sex because Everyone should be comfortable enough to ask that question and answer that question. Number two, women should really stop waiting for men to initiate sex. And I get it, like, I mean, I get it to an extent, you know what I'm saying? I'm a very open person, I'm very honest, so I have nothing to hide. But I get like some women are just like, oh, but I don't want to come off as a certain way. We should be more confident in that area. Um, we already live in such a patriarchal, patriarchal society and we don't need to give men control all the time, you know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of guys who would rather prefer the women to actually initiate it because it makes it easier on them. So I always think it's attractive anyway for a woman to have control over her body and own her body, you know what I'm saying? So Number three... Um, giving is better than receiving by far I think people need to stop being so selfish yes you should think about yourself but you should also be thinking about pleasuring the other person as well you should be thinking like okay how can I satisfy the person that I'm with and I personally love to pleasure the person that I'm with like it does not matter like if we're comfortable with each other, I'm going to do whatever it takes to make you feel like you are a freaking king. I'm going to make you feel like you are loved and cared and appreciated for it. I expect the same thing in return. You know what I'm saying? Like I expect for a guy to want to make me feel the same way. And if he's not like that, then he got to go. <laughs> um, number four. This is for people who have sex for the first time. I truly believe that if it's your first time having sex and i'm not talking about people who are married but if it's your first time having sex you should not have sex with someone that you're in love with but you should have sex with someone that you trust and i say that because when you have sex for the first time it's so delicate it's so emotional and the last thing you want is to have an emotional attachment onto someone just because you felt like you were in love with them and you shared this moment with them like you are going to be an emotional wreck for the rest of your life if that's the way you think i truly believe that having sex with someone you trust and that you're not in love with it's a lot more smarter it's a lot more safer for your own emotional well-being um because that person you know you trust them enough to not talk about you spread rumors about you you know what i'm saying like in the end like if you guys actually are friends you could always go back and laugh about it you can talk about it and it's never gonna make you feel bad or regret the decision that you made now if it's someone that you planned your whole freaking life out with and then they leave you like that's terrible like to me that's terrible so if i think that you're the type of person that's really waiting for marriage then really wait for marriage don't just say okay well it's time like i love this person enough like don't even put love into the equation like do not equate first time sex with love do not do it because you are going to be hurt you're going to feel like i should have waited and i shouldn't have given myself to this person and it's just you're going to be a wreck 
sex with older people is so much better than having sex with somebody your age. I say that because a lot of guys my age are so immature. They are not about that life. They're not about doing certain things for women. Um, they're really big on like not wanting to give head to a girl. Like they're just like, no, like, I don't want to do it. I'm not going down on a girl. But at the same time, they are the same people that'd be like, you need to suck my you know what I'm saying? Like they're the first person to say that, but they will not do it for a girl. And I don't have time for the games. Like if I'm about to do something with you, like we gotta have some type of mutual respect for each other. You know what I'm saying? Like you're not about to just be make it all about you're not about to just make it all about you and not even consider how I feel. A thing is with older guys, they are dedicated to making you feel beautiful, to making you feel appreciated and you know, and stuff like that. And I feel like even with older women, um, they're a lot more confident with their bodies, they're a lot more confident in what they want. And that is just, you know, that's a beautiful thing. You know? um, number six, shorter explosive sections. Sessions over and longer sessions. Um, Desirable sex is anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes. So I never really understood why people claim that longer sex was popping or, oh my God, we're going to try to ignore that. I never understood why people um, claim that longer sex was popping or it's lit. To me, it sounds like if the sex is taking too long, then someone is really lacking in that area. And it sounds like just it's going to be annoying. Like you ever have sex with someone and they're just taking forever in the back of your head. You're just like, when are they going to be done? I've been there before. It's not fun. Um, shorter sessions are obviously way more um, enjoyable. And that's just my opinion. Um, I truly believe that it's a lot better. Number seven. Hickeys are freaking disgusting. Like, I feel like hickeys are actually, actually really childish. I actually will put two things together that I feel like is extremely childish. Hickeys are childish and f is so, they're, it's so canceled. It's so freaking canceled. It's not fun and it's so childish. Like, I feel like the two of those is like for young people who are trying to be grown and shouldn't even be doing what they're doing. That's what I think of when people are just trying to do that because I'm like first of all why you have a whole thing down there like for what for what hickeys is just like it just looks so tacky it just it's canceled number eight I cannot stand guys who are literally finish like first like I mean finish first like they're not interested in making you feel good in any type of way like even if you did an orgasm they're just done they're just like, okay, well, I did what I need to do. Like, that makes you feel so disrespected. Like, to me, that is so disrespectful. That's so disrespectful for you. Like, you ever had somebody really try to play you like that? And they're just like, okay, well, I'm taking you home now. Or, like, your Uber's outside. Or, you know, whatever the case may be. Like, that is the worst. That is, like, the utmost disrespect. I feel like this is number nine. I feel like people need to be more upfront about their intentions. If your intentions are just to have, you know, fun or whatever, I will leave you alone because I'm at the point in my life where I actually want a relationship, right? So if I'm talking to someone and they're just like, yeah, you know, like I'm trying to build a meaningful connection with someone and, you know, we'll see how that goes. I'm looking for something more serious. And, you know, they start taking you out and they're doing this and they're doing that. They're calling you baby. They're saying they love you. Just for in the end, they're just like, nah, like, I'm not really with it. Like, I really just want to have sex with you. <sighs> That's so childish to me. Like, that is just so childish to me. And not only that, now my feelings are invested. So now you're bae and you're just going to have to deal with it. Like, you cannot leave me now. You can't leave me. Like, you did the most. You should have just been honest about it from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? You should have just been like, you know what? I'm not trying to have anything serious. I just want to see where this goes. Like... And then I'm like, okay, you're, you know, you're talking your weight into getting what you want instead of you just being honest about it from the beginning. I hate, I hate that. Like, number 10, body counts do not matter 
um, as long as they're being safe about what you do. I feel like if you want to ex um, explore sexual energies with multiple people, by all means, do whatever you need to do. Do I mean, we're all here to have a human experience because we're spiritual beings, okay? If for whatever reason you want to exchange sexual energies with multiple people because that's who you are, then you should do that, but make sure that you are being safe about it, you know what I mean? You are getting checked, you are using a condom, you're doing whatever you need to do to protect yourself um, and protect other people. Um, and I truly do believe that your wholeness can be deleted. Like, I don't, like, when people really got on Andrea about her wholeness being deleted, I was dead-ass confused. Like, I was really confused why everybody was coming at her because I'm like, she could really be a different person, you know what I'm saying? Like, people change. And maybe, like, this may not be the same, but I feel like it's the same. It's kind of like calling somebody a crackhead who doesn't do crack anymore. Like, like, oh, look at that crackhead. Like, why would you call somebody a crackhead if they're doing so much better in their life and they know who they are and they, they've grown so much? Why would you disrespect that person? And how is she a hoe if she don't do the same thing that she used to do? And I honestly hate hoe shaming and slut shaming and all that stuff. Like, today we all have hoe stories. We all been involved in some type of hoe antics. So I just feel like it's just dumb. Number 11, I don't feel like people should have sex every day. Um, I think the, anticipate, the anticipation that you get um, from not having sex with someone um, is a lot more sexier. It's a lot more fun. Um, and like, there's nothing exciting about something predictable. I'll just say that. There's nothing exciting about anything predictable. That's why I think casual sex is a whole dub. Um, it's cute sometimes, but all the time, no. Um, I definitely think when you take some time away from the person and then when you come back to have sex, it's so much more enjoyable. Um, number 12, I cannot stand when people talk during sex. I cannot stand when the TV's on and when there's music playing. I like to really be in the now. I like to really enjoy the moment that I'm having with that person. So any other outside distractions like TV or the music, and I never understood how people like to have sex to music, but that's a, whatever. Um, I never like liked outside distractions because I really try to focus on me and you and orgasming. Like I'm not trying to hear <laughs> music or TV. Like, And there's nothing more annoying than when somebody is talking to you, asking you questions. They're like, so tell me who daddy is. And I'm just like, now I gotta pretend to sound sexy or like what if I don't hear you and I'm like huh and then it kills the whole vibe like that that's a really that's really a vibe killer like don't say anything to me like yes you be like damn shit you know you could say things like that but do not ask me no questions it's not time to have a conversation right now it's really not time to have a conversation and I don't want I don't want to answer questions so that's a dub number 13 lingerie is so pointless you ever get dressed up for someone and literally as fast as you put them clothes on is as fast as they got taken off and you done spent mad money on a cute little outfit got your hair done got your nails done you looking fine you looking good as hell for the person that you're with to just be like take it off it's pointless so, Save your coins. It's, I mean, if you want to look cute here and there, cool. Get like two cute outfits and that's it. Like, you don't even gotta do the most. Like, guys don't care about that. And last but not least, big is overrated. It's so overrated. Like, you ever talk to someone that has a big thing or they claim they got a big thing? Because some people really be lying. Some people are really lying out here and I don't know why they be lying because, like, they got the nerve to lie and send you a picture and it's like this does not add up so why did you lie <laughs> but not only that like people who actually do have you know the whole package be so cocky they be so cocky and then they don't even know how to work it that is the most embarrassing thing ever like honestly i find it more attractive when a guy just doesn't talk about it at all and then when you see them you're like you what you packing on like to me that's more sexy than a guy boasting and bragging about what they got because it's so overrated like it's nothing enjoyable 
about something big that's painful that too you know what i'm saying like not only are you cocky but then you're putting me in pain as well like no it's a dub i'd rather you know average size than somebody with a big dick so those are my unpopular opinions i hope you guys enjoyed it um i had fun recording this i honestly did so many takes of this video because i was so aggravated with my hair then i was aggravated with my makeup then i was just i was just aggravated but <laughs> hopefully this is the final video hopefully i don't have to do any more takes and